feel like I've learned a ton <laughs> about a lot of saints by getting to design socks about them. My name is Madison Cipolletti and I design all the socks for Sock Religious. All right, this is our warehouse and where we keep all of our inventory of socks. Uh, so St. Joseph was one of our first socks and within the Argyle pattern, there's actually a little carpentry tool. St. Cecilia, patroness of music, the actual notes across the top is the notes for the Litany of Saints. So it says, pray for us. The first thing I do when we have a new saint design, I always just read the biography and kind of pay attention to either strong devotions they had, key elements of their story, and how could I make that into an image or some kind of icon. Typically in the background, there's a pattern of some sort that is key elements from their story. As I was designing the St. Francis sock, I was reading his full bio, and I just remember like laughing out loud at how crazy he was. Like he, he had this astute upbringing, like he was super wealthy. God told him to go back from battle and to, to renounce everything to this point where like he strips off his garments and only has his undergarment on and he goes off into the woods like singing. <laughs> if someone did that today, we would think they're crazy. Our church was built on a history of saints like St. Francis and martyrs who believe so deeply in these convictions that they died for it, like they were willing to give up everything for it. One of my greatest hopes for the people who wear these socks is that they look to the saints as our older brothers and sisters. They're truly just role models for us. And so my hope is that by putting them on, you can look down and be reminded that I too can become a saint.